Namaskar. Welcome to yet another video on the series that we are having of a refresher training manual for the ministerial staff for the state of Punjab, Haryana and UT Chandigarh as published by Chandigarh Judicial Academy. In today's series, we shall be dealing with chapter six, part two of the manual, which relates with the duties of bill or accounts clerk. The bill clerks in the establishment of civil judge, senior division and student session judge perform the same functions. Their duties are budget estimates and dealing with audit objections, disbursement of sanction accounts or areas or DRO or refund vouchers, preparations of vouchers for MACT or LAC cases, maintenance of pay bill registers, contingency register, token register, LTC register, deduction of income tax at source and the submission of returns to the income tax department on quarterly basis in order to avoid any penalty, disbursement of payments to, to judicial offices, preparation of excess and surrender at the end of the financial year, preparation of annual salary statements of the officers or officials, preparation of form number 16 of the officers and the officials, making salary bills or education allowance bills or LTC bills, etc. of the officers or officials through e-salary system, annual increments of the officials, traveling allowance bills, medical bills, preparation of statements regarding expenditure and pending audit paras on monthly basis, matter regarding fixation of salary of officials, assured career progression ACP to the officials, house rent allowance, grant of loans and advances of different kinds to the officials, vehicle, wheat, marriage, house building, computer, personal, etc. Fixation of salary or DA, etc. Area bill, GPF advances, bills of transfer TA or disturbance allowance to officers, pension cases or new pension scheme, payment of gratuity, commutation, leave and cashment, group insurance scheme, GIS to the retirees, payment of ex gratia grant, cases of voluntary retirement, entering the employee's details in HRMS, all correspondence regarding accounts branch, maintenance of service books of the officers or officials. A. Preparation of budget estimates and schedules of new expenditure. The budget estimate is prepared in COC office and superintendent office for both establishments. Punjab and Haryana High Court Rules and Orders, Volume 4, Chapter 21, contain detailed rules of budget. Punjab Budget Manual contains a detailed instruction for the preparation of budget estimates, estimates of ordinary charges, schedule of new expenditure, supplementary schedule of new expenditure, list of major and minor works, pay of officers and establishment, miscellaneous expenditure, other expenditures. Spending of budget and submission of utilization certificate or surrendering of unutilized budget, different heads of receipt, spending and maintenance of record. All demands of a session's division for a year should be accumulated in a manner that it should be sufficient for the year. Budget is prepared on the prescribed performance as supplied by the government and it is time bound activity. Normally, budget estimates for the next financial year is prepared in September of last financial year or as per the directions of the government. The revised estimate of current financial year is also prepared along with the budget estimates of next financial year. 10 monthly budget estimate is also prepared in the month of January. Generally, two half yearly budget statements are sent, that is in September and February of every financial year. As per High Court rules and orders, it is the duty of the district and sessions judge to personally insist on the preparation of estimates by their office within the prescribed period. Punishments may be awarded for the delays and errors to the ministerial officers. Under the High Court rules and orders, disciplinary action is also suggested. Method of preparation. For preparation of pay budget, following points should be taken into consideration. Provisions should be made with reference to the pay due on April 1, an increment which may be due during the year. Provisions should also be made to, for expected increase in dearness allowance during the next financial year on the basis of previous announcements. The estimate should be supported by a nominal role prepared separately for gazetted and non-gazetted officers, showing the pay to be drawn by each officer during the year for which the estimate is made. The number of posts should be carefully checked. 
any variation in the number of posts should be explained a reference being given to the orders of government if any all variations must be clearly explained in a separate note provisions of any expected purchase regarding vehicle and law books etc should be clearly made the detail of expected expenditure should be sought from the concerned quarters budget should be submitted well before the due date of the budget by end of every month statement of expenditure should be prepared and sent to honorable high court chandigarh expenditure sanction of competent authority is must in all the cases even if provisions of expenses has been made in the budget before recording sanction the sanctioning authority must ascertain whether budget provision exists the disbursing officer is responsible for the expenditure incurred against the grants allotted he shall keep a close watch over the progress of expenditure prompt attention be paid to any letter received from accountant general and arrangement be made to submit an application for an additional appropriation as soon as the necessity arises see budget documents and extra f2l at pages from 178 to 184 of the manual indicating how documents or modified budgets are prepared b records to be maintained pertaining to the salary the main register in the case of salary is token register or salary and cash book other registers are also maintained by a bill clerk as per requirement the following registers are maintained in the ut codes given for the purpose of learning how these are maintained step 1 token register salary is prepared on the proforma and schedule which is sent to the treasury it is also sent online through software like pfms and seva thin ut or hrms treasury voucher number and date are entered in the token register The register contains the entries of all types of bills: salary bills, NPS bills, contingency bill, medical bill, TA bill, LTC bill, witness charges plus diet money, state cases. Step two: entry in cash book or contingency register. The entries are made in contingency register and on cash book. In UT, the wages register is also maintained for the entry of salary, etc., to ad hoc employees or mali or sweeper or chokidar. step 3 pay bill register individual entries are shown in the pay bill register along with voucher number of treasury or dates different heads salary head contingency head medical head ta head wages head other expenses see salary documents and extra m to n pages 185 to 186 of the vault manual indicating how registers are maintained part c preparation of pension papers checklist oblique important points the detailed rules for calculation and settlement of pension cases are given in civil services rules and relevant instructions the points to be kept in mind while preparing pension cases personal details of the retiree family details department de dependent details prescribed set of pension papers is readily available and employee completes the papers himself pending inquiry or criminal proceedings revision of pension and commutation of pension case family pension and disputes commutation of pension without medical examination is within one year of retirement gratuity gis leave in cashment is also to be calculated in case of disciplinary proceedings only provisional pension is permissible gratuity is payable after rendering 10 years service or maximum is rupees 10 lakh the leave in cashment is 300 days salary GIS payment is rupees one twenty per month. Ex gratia rupees one lakh in case of death during service. Procedure for pension paper. It is the duty of the accounts branch to start the process of pension six months before retirement of an employee. For this, an official letter should be issued to the person going to retire, requesting him to submit the required documents with the accounts branch. The required documents includes three photographs of employee, three photographs of employee with spouse, three copies of descriptive role of employee, female de family details that is name, death of family details that is name, date of birth of all family members, option form for commutation of pension, nomination details, bank details in which pension is to be credited, etc. The person about to retire will submit his pension papers on prescribed performa as early as possible. On receiving the pension papers, accounts branch will check the papers and prepare the pension calculation sheet, last pay certificate of the retiree. In calculation sheet, the assistant will calculate total qualifying service, proposed pension, death come retirement gratuity according to the service and pay of the retiree. After obtaining the signatures of concerned DDO, all the pension papers will be forwarded to the Office of Accountant General for sanctioning of pension and gratuity. 
The copy of all pension papers are retained for office record. When the sanction from the Office of Accountant General is received regarding gratuity of the retiree, a consolidated no due certificate is prepared for which reports from different quarters is sought regarding any due from the retiree. If the retiree is allotted government accommodation, no due certificate is also required from the AO rents before issuing consolidated no due certificate. One can have a look at pension document annexure O at page 187 to 189 indicating the calculation of pension. Part D, bills regarding leave encashment, GIS, final payment of GPF and DCRG. Competent authority will issue sanction for leave encashment according to the leave balance in the leave account of the retiree and also for GIS and final payment of GPF. The Office of Account General will issue sanction letter for DCRG. Thereafter, bill of leave encashment, GIS and final pay payment of GPA be prepared on the prescribed performer. Rest of the procedure of preparation of bill is same as other bills. One can have a look at GIS bill at an extra P at page 198, 190, which indicates the entries. National Pension System, NPS. It is applicable for employees who joined after January 2004, oblique 2006 for Haryana. After the form is filled by the officer or official, Pran is given. Deduction of 10% of basic plus DA. Now on behalf of government, it is 14%. The employee can check his provident fund account by visiting the site npscra.ndsl.co.in. The above site contains all the relevant forms, performers, including exit forms. Employee also gets statement of NPS by mail or by post. Annuity plan is also available under the scheme. Two schedules are prepared, that is NPS 1 and NPS 2. After 10 years, an employee can raise loan for marriage, house education, limit of 25% of employee's contribution. Maintenance of GPF, NPS and GIS record. Checklist. Points to be kept in mind while preparing the aforesaid records. Ledger is maintained separately for class 3 and class 4 employees indicating the deductions. Withdrawals or advances refundable or non-refundable GPF are also shown. Missing credits should be regularized. GPF register contains entries regarding the GPF contribution of employees along with the interest. In case of officers, GPF schedules are sent and payment is sent through generation of Chalan to bank. Note, options for change of GPF contribution are taken in March and October. One can have a look at GPF document and extra Q to Q2 at page 191 to 193, indicating the entries in the manual. How to prepare TA bills? Important points. In case of Haryana, 2016 rules are applicable and as per rules, first the classification of level is identified, then TA is to be calculated as per the grade of the employee. In Punjab, it is calculated as per the provisions contained in CSR Volume 3 Rules and Instructions issued by the government from time to time. Documents regarding the mode of transportation, that is by road, train or by air, are to be taken from the employee. Transfer TA or disturbance allowance to the officer as per the instructions in case of Punjab, Haryana or UT. In case of training, training certificate is required. In case of air travel, bills of ticket, board and pass are required. Charges of economic class are permissible. Air India flights are allowed, but if traveled by another airline, certificate is required indicating cheaper rate of flight at the relevant time. In case of a halt at the spot, reimbursement to be given as per the rules. If the journey is by own vehicle, reimbursement is, is as per the instructions. TA bills are to be submitted within one year. In case of court evidence, the amount is to be disbursed from sheriff's petty account in case of civil evidence and in criminal cases, it is as per the rules. One can have a look at the document at an extra R at page 194 of the manual indicating the entries. So this is uh, all about this chapter. In the next chapter, that is chapter seven, we shall be looking into the financial rules and store and purchase with its few tips. Till then, Namaskar.